If investing was a sport, the intelligent investor would be a rulebook. Strap in as we crack open this classic and find out why Warren Buffett considers it the best book ever written on investing. In this monumental piece, Benjamin Graham, the father of value investing, tells us not to think on investing as buying stocks, but rather as buying businesses. It's like owning your very own golden goose, instead of hoping for someone else's goose to lay golden eggs. Graham draws a line between investors and speculators. While speculators just follow the crowd, investors do the mess. They are like a detective sniffing out the underpriced stocks with a magnifying glass in one head and a calculator in another. In the words of Graham, an investment operation is one which, after analysis, promises safety and adequate return. And remember, folks, if you are not investing based on research and analysis, then you are not investing, you are gambling. Graham's concept of Mr. Market is the powerful one. Imagine a super depressive business partner who always swings between extreme optimism and pessimism. Would you let him dictate your investment decisions? Of course not. You would buy when he is pessimistic and sell when he is overly optimistic. Graham insists on a margin of safety, always buying at a significant discount to intrinsic value, to allow room for error. It's like buying an umbrella on a sunny day. You might not need it now, but when it rains, you'll be glad you have one. Here is a final nugget of wisdom from the man himself. The investor's chief problem, and even his worst enemy, is likely to be himself. So folks, don't be your own worst enemy. Stay rational, do the mess, and invest wisely. Was there any valuable lessons you've taken from this shortcut? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and join our community of intelligent investors. Thanks for watching and remember, invest wisely.